Greetings and hello! <laughs> this here is the ancient spirit, Tralaka here, flowing with the spirit. Video 54D. The officer, female, of the Alliance Warriors replied. Her name was Maltria. We had the help of Tralaka with his cruisers and his pilot satchel who gave us the inside information we needed. Hmm, really, Gunnison continued as he looked her more deeply in the eyes. Officer Maltria locked steadily back at him without a flinch, then replied, We received info from Tralaka and his pilot satchel that they would be coming in from the sides with their multiple uh, warrior units, which resulted in a much shortened battle underground. We cleaned up both bunkers there and Satchel then, Bo Satchel beforehand had used uh, that large tank he had on his back and sprayed this heavy orange and blue mist into the ventilation pipes as Alliance warriors blasted the inner uh, stone doors. All the top draconian leaders in those rooms were, were barely conscious when we loaded them up into your battleship, sir. Then we went back out to finish the outside battle around that dragon base. Gunnison was smiling once again. Gunnison stretched forth his long arms for a moment then bringing him back to himself. Then he spoke again. The Alliance warriors around him, this is incredible work you have done, warriors. Though, where is that missing battlecruiser and Tralaka's units of warriors? A warrior spoke up from within the group of, of warriors. Tralaka! Said Satchel and him were going after the Queen's Nest underground bunker. Da, 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 da. Main control tower, this is Captain Tralaka requesting immediate emergency landing. We're coming in really hot. Permission granted, Lord Tralaka. The main control tower uh, people uh, replied. Lord Tronaka, we're sending fire suppression and uh, to the lander, uh, landing area by the hangars. Hey, no can do, man. Need something like soft landing, Tronaka, uh replies and continues. Most of our landing gear is melted down. We're coming. We're gonna come down at the east end of that long main runway into the swamp to cushion the weight and to uh, put out some of the bottom fires. Main control deck replies, affirmative. We are sending up much extra support. That one, some step one's beautiful shiny black newer battle cruiser. As it came in for a landing, was billowing cl black clouds of smoke from underneath, and areas all around the outside of the ship was burning flames. Under parts of the cruiser and the landing gear, as it landed in the swamp, though a very shallow swamp, with water, there was on the large. Uh, as the water uh, was bubbling around it, the fire suppression teams uh, landed there and, and was hosing the entire thing down over and over and over, layer and layer and layer and layer of this uh, foamy stuff to try to suppress the fire. Out of the back of the main door, after, after some of that smoke, outran the Alliance warriors from that uh, cruiser and flight crew along with them marched perfectly 
uh, in multiple roles of uh, drac of draconian queens, while then they're wearing leg cuffs and and laser cuffs for their for their hands to restrain them from escaping. Ten long minutes later, they arrived by the main area building, where where everyone from the cruiser was where everyone from that cruiser the swamp now stood at attention and a lot of mud and other gunk on them they look totally exhausted and and you could you could feel the strain in the air as they came to a uh, perfect attention captain Tralaka and a pilot satchel were still moving into position in in the front of the lines then also snapped a rigid attention. Gunnison walked over to Trelaka and formally salutes. So, late again, Trelaka. As Gunnison had a slight smile on his face. Uh, sorry, sir, Trelaka replied. We located the hidden queen dragon bunker of the renegade draconians which hid their queen, dragons, and the financial officers, sir, whom is of a species I am not familiar with, though it could be related, I think, to a division of the old greys. Great work done by your units and flight crew, Dunasem re replied. At ease, warriors, you have earned it. Though pilot satchel, how did you transport all these draconian queens and their servants and and the financials without a struggle? Well, sir, as soon as we got into orbit heading towards the bunker, since I had some time, I put on autopilot and then I went to the science lab making a very strong batch of the herbal and oil uh, that many of the dragons used in their certain relaxation times. Then I put it into an aerosol solution and put into a 30-gallon backpack uh, harness, and then I sprayed it in all their ventilation shafts before we blew the door down. Oh, actually, multiple doors down that we could find. I can assure you, sir, they will not be able to even argue as they blankly stare into the air for probably another two days. Satchel was very brightly smiling as he finished talking. And truly, over the next few days, those draconians there were staring up into nothing into the air. <sighs> as they were being processed and some of the unknown species that were with them were also being processed and assigned to rooms that were heavily guarded but comfortable and flame proof. The preparations involved a formal time after all the injured uh, warriors have been taken care of in the recovery are those who did not recover I bow to you, my old friends. And, and as the crystal operating tables uh, did the best that they could to, to preserve the warriors, sometimes it don't. It's one of those things. It's sad. It's very sad. But sometimes it's the way the warriors go. As time went on, they started preparing, and they arrived in a formal time after this war, and the Alliance warriors were back at their bases and outpost uh, at that main base. And in, in Earth time, it, though it seemed like weeks, as each Alliance warrior had died and went into the next life, was honored. Though there was lots of food and speeches, along with much diplomacy in talks also, 
The bodies were ceremonial burned in sacred long services, and the ashes were later carefully taken into little disposable jars into space by that new, newest of the battle cruisers with the very top ranking officers of the base operating that cruiser, that battle cruiser. Then as the evening sun was going into the west's sunset, they in that battle cruiser facing that direction and also in space at location already, they released the ashes of all the warriors just as that battle cruiser was was entering into a short hyperspace jump. This, since early times of the ancient alliance warriors, was seen as the most proper way to send the dead warriors into the next life with the same power, speed, and authority they had dedicated their times while in the Alliance Warriors. This here is the Ancient Spirit, Trelaka. As always, journey safely, uh, do your research, and broaden, broaden the abilities of your mind to understand bigger concepts which will serve you much greater in your life. Good night.